Welcome back to the Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Steve. In the last video, um, you know, folks, I ain't gonna lie. It's been a while since I've recorded. I'm trying to get really uh, acclimated with the game. I'm gonna disturb my baby girl uh, right there. Um, she is gonna be my little recording buddy for the next few days. Um, well, for the next really indeterminate future. Um, to be keeping an eye on me, but I do have plans for this video. I want to head back to Galena 1. And I want to get um, kind of everything sorted out a little bit there as well. Oops. So Galena 1 is very close by, so I think I'm going to have to make arrangements to head out that way. But before I do that, i got to make sure I've got a lot of power to do so. We've got that there and sort that all out. We've got plenty of titanium alloy, which also means I need to start working on... Oh, not those guys. The logistics vessels. So I need to get reinforced thrusters, which means I need electromagnetic turbines, coils, electric motors. Right, I need iron for that. Okay. Hang on. I think one of my sites has those being built. There we go. It's not being transported over. Oh, it's because I'm making um, Mark IIs. Hmm. Okay. So eventually this will fill up. Let's actually reduce that a little bit. And see how many I got here. I'm just going to have those four fill up, and then I'll start filling up uh, these guys, because I do want to make more of those as well. Let's see. I think I've got everything to go. <clears throat> yeah, big purpose for this is to go put some more solar panels on Galena 1 and increase the power there. So let's try to go into space. Right, where am I? I'll lock my cursor back in. And hopefully I don't make the giant mistake that I made last time when I did this. I feel like I'm going really, really off kilter. Like my mouse is like peaked at the top of the screen, it feels. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's find out where we are on this planet. Of course, I'm on the exact opposite side. I need to get over here. Alright, and also need to put some more solar down on the equator. So let's head for that. Put this out. 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. There we go. Not much copper. I've got plenty of high purity silicon, if I'm not mistaken. Of course I do, because I'm sending it all back to the planet. Um, wow. Maybe I need to upgrade this to a Mark III? Okay, I have a Mark III. Top tip. also telling me I probably need to put <clears throat> more logistics vessels in place. Fabricator. Okay. If I can get my hands on some iron, I can do that. It's titanium. That's right, this is not hooked in. Let's go ahead and seize up everything here. Yep. Yeah, 488%. Okay, cannot charge. So 
Let's go down here. We're gonna slap in a bunch of solar panels. I get this going. And in between the last video and now, um, I've kind of seen a lot of people shying away from the wind turbines in favor of solar, which is totally fine. I'm just gonna keep going with what I got here. Uh, logistics vessels now are able to carry more cargo. Always good for us. I'm realizing now I should not actually be building these all in one location. I should kind of be building them online. But too late. We're already started on this. Alright, we'll need a little bit of concrete. There we go. We only have three wind turbines anyway, so it doesn't do too much. Plus, on Galena, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. Wind energy ratio is only 70% of what we're getting on Galena 3 and 108% of solar. So it makes more sense to go for a ton of solar a ton of solar power than it does you know, uh, for wind. So let's get this. Once I get these all hooked up, I'll go ahead and look at the need foundation support. Oh wow, there's a big old divot there. There we go. We'll go ahead and look at the research tree here in just a second. Go to the fabricator here. Okay, we need a bunch of iron, or just a bunch of circuit boards, so I could fly back to Galena 3. Where are we at? Galena 4, 1... Where the heck am I? <laughs> okay, there we go. wife just came in and surprised me. That was very nice. I was not expecting her to pop in. I thought she was uh, still doing the sleep. Okay, where am I? Galena 2, Galena 4, haha, <laughs> Galena 3. And crash land. Yay. Okay. Come down here. So we're gonna need a bunch of circuit boards. Oh! While we're here, let's take a look at the plastics production. This is going for my titanium alloy. We have 400 here. That's good. Um, looks like we're just waiting on the sulfuric acid, which I think I've got some on me. There we go. I wish I was producing this a little bit faster. And let's go ahead and take some detours, because I can. I did talk about possibly hooking up more plastics over here. I could also just take a few of these offline. What are you guys waiting on? Titanium? Plenty of titanium over here. It's right there. Oh no, I don't have titanium on board. Hmm. Interesting. Local supply, remote demand, local supply, remote demand. Oh well, I've got titanium on board me, so how about I just take it over there, drop it on in. I think it's more of these guys going, because note, I'm not really consuming my yellows right now. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So if I drop it all in there, I probably could slash should have grabbed all of it off, everything that I could have grabbed off Galena 1, and I'll probably do that real quick, is go back and just fill my inventory with stuff that we can use for this. But let's go ahead and get some iron, or at least go get some circuit boards to make more solar panels. All right. Oh, there goes a logistics vessel. Don't know what you just brought in, but good stuff. Okay. Iron. Oh, wait, there's circuit boards. What the hell am I doing? Drop. i right, grab five of those. 
six of those. So let's go ahead and get a couple of stacks of iron. And with the iron stacks, I'll actually go right here. Yeah, this whole build gears thing, I, this was kind of a misstep on my part. I may dismantle this and do something else with it. All right, now, let's go to my fabricator. Oh, high purity silicon. I can go ahead and get some of that too. Thankfully, I've got some locally based. Okay, interstellar. And let's see, plenty of foundations. I've got about 3,000 on board there. That's good. Let's just take 800. Copper is low again. That's totally okay. Now, instead of going to this one, we'll go to my other site. Up here, because there's plenty of stuff that's available. Let's grab six of those. Not bad, making another hundred solar panels, and we'll just keep those on the inventory there. Oh, let's go into inventory. Oh, that's not it. Research. Uh, working on... What is this one? Ah, here we go. Logistics carrier engine makes them go a little bit faster. That's always good. Uh, gonna go for cargo stacking, and then logistics carrier engine uh, three. I could drop number one from that, just go straight into level two, level three, boom, boom. Uh, cargo stacking. Particle control technology. I do need this for the information matrix, which is the purple cubes. Let's go ahead. I should just go straight into particle control technology from this and then unlocks interstellar power transmission. I need this one for gas giants exploration. So I'm going to change up the queue a little bit. I've got all my upgrades, I think, as far as I can right now. Hey, look, I've got some sorters on board. Let's also... Make some more uh, interstellar logistics vessels. Vessels, whistles. Where are the nuclear vessels? Let's uh, get some of those built up as well. Okay. I'm just gonna go. What do you need here? Uh, fuel. Oh, we're doing a little low on that. Let's go ahead and top ourselves off. Yep. Let's see how the oil production is doing, because this was a concern of mine earlier. Okay, we got oil coming down. Yep, that's good. Had to give you a little MacGyvery with it. But it looks like we still have plenty of oil being supplied. Yep. And then over here, we've got plenty of hydrogen being stored, and I'm not consuming it that fast. Waiting on. I'm give them that one. And this is okay, titanium crystals, organic crystals, and. Yeah. Got a bunch of red cubes there. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this a little more efficiently. And we're still waiting on titanium here. Okay. So I think I'm going to have to head back to Galena 1 to go get a bunch of titanium. There's about 400 coming in. It's not coming in fast enough, though. Double check here. Okay. I'm going to trade off probably most of these solar panels. I'll most likely fill my inventory with titanium and then come back. Organic crystals. Wait a minute. Hang on. Okay. By the time I get back to Galena 1... I'll have 13. If I pull 40 titanium off of here, let's just go to it right now. I need 39. That's took the entire thing. Oh well. Alright, let's do that. Just gonna minimize and keep it all in there if possible. There we go. Yeah, it clears out more of my inventory. 
Yep, yeah, okay. So now, let's find Galena 1 from where I'm at. Or close that. Okay, it's getting a little further away, so I might as well go now. Cool beans. And of course, I'm on the complete wrong side of the planet yet again. Couldn't find where we need to be. I really should just mark down the coordinates of where I am. Or at least where my base is. It always seems like I'm coming down on the wrong side of the planet. Granted, if I completely mine the planet and have stuff everywhere, that solves that problem. And wherever I land will be fine. But, ah, there we go. Now for this one, we're going to be grabbing a bunch of titanium. Hey, look, a bunch of titanium. Hmm. Iron? Where's our mining iron here again? Hmm. I remember I was going for iron on this planet, but I don't remember why. There we go. Plenty of iron on board. I'm still making solar panels. That's totally fine. By the time I finish placing all of them, I'll probably have... the rest of that thought figured out. Okay. Start laying these guys down here. We're shooting soil out of this too, that's good. Nope. Yeah, 126 solar panels. I can work with this. Just want to get the first ring built, and then we'll come back and. We'll do like multiple rounds of it. I do know at a certain point there are things that are super, super good. Let's cover it. Let's just bridge, put a bridge there. There we go. I said, uh, there are power sources later in the late game that are super powerful compared to what I'm doing now, but this is just to get everything going just a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead. I will just, damn. Let's try not to uh, miss the mark there, but let's go ahead and do what I can to level this planet, or at least the belt. Once that's done, oh, every time. Once you get everything sorted here, we'll get these uh, solar panels down. Mostly to drop those new logistics vessels right onto Galena 1 to transport the materials it has back to Galena 3. Oh, that looks nice. Oh no. Oh! Oh dear. Okay. Um, I thought I was going to run out of soil first. I've run out of foundation. I really thought uh, that was going to last here. It's okay, kiddo. Okay. So, we'll put down all the solar panels that I've got, grab the titanium I have, and then head back to Galena 3. Oh, 
All right, so right now we're at uh, 51 megawatts, and to power the Interstellar Logistics Station, we need 60. Uh, granted, this is all in the sun right now, so let's take this one with a grain of salt. Once we have the whole full power belt done, we should have a pretty good idea of what is really being produced in power. Okay, that's this whole section done. But it's not, I don't think, a full power belt just yet. Uh, I put quite a bit of I put a, quite a bit of concrete down. I wasn't realizing that until now. Go with the map view, kind of center it up so you can see. I got about a little less than half the planet belted. You can see it's right there. I'd say it's a little less than half. Because these ones aren't even doing anything. Yeah, getting capacity is 35 megawatts right now. It's not nearly enough. All right. Wow, I'm amazed that uh, we're still loading this stuff up. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Okay, there's about 10 logistics vessels here. I don't know if that's... Uh... I can charge it, though. That's the big thing. Yeah. Not gonna have enough for it yet, mind you. Okay. Runs of that, high purity silicon. Let's go ahead and grab a bunch of. There we go. Alright, so we got that. I do have copper on this plant, don't I? Hmm. Okay. As much as I'd like to. Producing this is just a pain in the butt manually. I'd love to automate it, but with how much, with the high purity silicon, wait a minute, do I have the ability? High purity silicon, copper, iron. Wait a minute, hang on, my brain just started working. Okay, map, there's silicon veins. That's the only silicon vein on the planet, but I've got iron and I've got copper here. Here's my crazy idea. Get the iron, get the copper, create all the stuff we need kind of in this area, and then pull it off here to make... Yeah, we can do this. Okay, perfect. I still don't know why I put the iron over there, though. I think it was because I was running low on the first planet. I, I don't know. Let's actually see, do I even have the capacity to do this stuff? I have two gatherers, not nearly enough. Assemblers, I've got 31. That's good. Okay. Oh, well, I've got enough to make them here. That's actually exactly what I need. I need 12. Wait a minute, I don't have smelters, do I? Oh, I've got smelters too. Hell yeah! Alright. There we go. So that's six. And then... Do the six over here. Ooh, these are really compact. This is good for me. So yeah, let's see. Six veins, six... Seven, yay. Seven, six. Awesome. Okay, so I'm thinking... Do the iron ingots over here? Maybe over here. Just do them next to the copper. Fabricator. Okay. Do that in the assembler. Hmm. Okay. In the 
assembler. This is an assembler. Okay. Logistics trying to fly faster. That's always good. Now, what if I did it over here? Offer goes in. Okay, so this goes into an assembler. I put those on this side. This takes copper, IPOD silicon, and circuit boards. I could be taken direct with another one. Okay, I can work with this. Let's do, like, let's do two for now, knowing what we're gonna have to do with it. We have to smelt it, so we'll smelt the copper down on this line, I think. want to come down this way. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopper. Looks like we have to do Mark II conveyor belt. No, wait. Yeah, that's fine. Right, I'm probably gonna have to put a cut in here soon because my baby's getting a little fussy. Totally fine. She's a baby. Grind to that. And I probably. I think there's another more effective way to do this. It's been a while, so long since I played, I can't remember all the uh, little tips and tricks that I used to do. Let's actually get this going. Alright. There goes a ton of copper. There we go. Then I'll go on that way. We'll hook them into the assemblers. I'm at the 30 minute mark. My baby just fell asleep again. Oh, I love her so much. Okay, I'm gonna do something similar over here. Maybe it's three per? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna produce a lot more iron if I do that way. Alright, well. Okay, you're gonna do iron. Just so I think she's calming down. She, there she goes. <laughs> Mark looks like I fed her right before I started recording the city too. more of these guys because I'm running out quick.
we go. Okay. I have to go a little bit longer with this. I know the X. Nope. Now the export's gonna be here. Your recipe is gonna call for making solar panels. Perfect. Actually, do this as a Mark II. Use the circuit boards. Wow, it's gonna make them super fast. It's gonna take five seconds. Five seconds to make that. I will get away with. I can get away with a Mark I for the moment here. I can upgrade my feet. You are gonna build a circuit board. I'm gonna copy you there. I'm going to take input, input, output, in, in, out. Okay, perfect. Now let's hook up the iron. Um, I may not have enough uh, to do this. I do have enough, <laughs> barely. Flying over lava. Okay, let's see if I can start manually producing, well not manually, you know what I mean, creating solar panels on Kalina 1. Wait, we're missing a power in this guy. Holy crap, we're doing it. So I need to make, if it's doing 12 per minute. This is great. Okay. So I think what needs to happen next is Expanding this out. Getting more solar panels available is a huge boost for getting the power going here, because right now, oh, we're at 73 megawatts, but that's during the daylight on this side of the planet. Once we get the entire planet belted, we're gonna be in much, much better shape. And plus, I can probably now turn this thing on. Because I got logistics stations here, I just need to be able to start shipping stuff. All right. I think I'm at a really good stopping point. Particle containers. Five plus four. Oh, that's right. I have hydrogen fuel rods. Um, this is going to make traveling super easy for me because these things they have 50 megajoules, and these guys have six megajoules. So onwards and upwards with this. Um, particle control technology is going to be unlocked uh, at the beginning of the next video. I do want to try to find the uh, fractal silicon somewhere, but there's that particle broadband which we're going to need the information matrix. And also the, where are we going next after that? Gas giant exploration. It's going to need a ton of stuff to get built. That's going to help me get a, a lot of stuff out of Galena 2 and start making Galena 2 working for this program. All right. On that lovely note, I think this is a really good stopping point. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.